Hi. My name's Adam. Please help. Ah! Hi. My name's Adam from Perth and the band Kabashi, and I'm a huge Newcastle Knights fan. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> I have been a Newtown Knights fan. Ah! I've been a Newcastle Knights fan since 1978. Ah! Since 1982! Ah, since 1988! Eight, eight. I've been a Newcastle Knights fan since 1988! <laughs> My favourite player ever is Aaron Delbert, who scored that try in the 1997 Grand Final. Ah, what was his name, Darren? Darren, Gary Ablett, no, what was... Ah, Darren Albert! Darren Elmer's my favourite player, I love the Knights, so please let me go. Rubs go. the Knights jersey on its skin, <laughs> I love <them>. Adam. <laughs> oh my, all oh my memories are my favourite because I, I love them so much. I've never had a bad memory <laughs> Go Knights. Guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, we've got a special guest with us uh, tonight. Young Troy um, had a, uh, a motorbike accident and uh, it's in a bit of a, a uh, not, not too good of a way. So uh, we thought we'd jump on board and uh, help the guys out. So how you going, Troy? Good. Good. Don't talk loud. Good. You good, mate. Good, mate, mate we got a little special. Yeah. We got a special guest here for you. We've got Brady Jones. Hey, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi, Brady. Hi, Brady. Can't talk loud. Hi, Brady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've seen uh, you making progress too, mate, with your walking. So, uh, yeah. mate, well done. No. Yeah. Only way is yeah. up. Only way is up now, mate. Uh, you're doing well. Yeah. So, so um, we actually got a few things for you guys as well. Um, we'll get our, uh, our our model our model here to help you show you a couple of things we've got for you. We've got your a little cup, podcast cup. cup. Coffee? Do you like coffee? Awesome. That might be for mum. I like That's coffee. Yeah. Mum can have a little <laughs> Irish coffee. Irish coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little backpack here, mate. That's yeah, you got a bag. Little little bag. Podcast backpack. That's pretty cool. Awesome. We've also got you a uh, well, nighttime podcast jacket. Show in the back. Yeah. Oh, cool. And uh, this one's going to be for mum as well. Stubby holder. <laughs> and uh, so that's all going your way. And we got we got this uh, uh, for you as well, so you can. Um... That's my hat. Put that down. <laughs> <laughs> From the podcast. Oh, cool. Yeah. Say thank you. And thank this, you. this one's for you to you can keep or you can auction it off and help with, um, you know, some of your your funding for yeah. his. Rehabilitation. It's a uh, it's a signed Australian jersey by uh, Josh Adokar. So you can do with that. Uh, cool. do <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. And uh, <laughs> so, uh, what what lies ahead for you guys here? Um, if you can tell us a little bit more. Yeah, maybe Timmy could yeah. pull us in. Um. I suppose now um, we were moved down here uh, probably three weeks ago from the Queensland Children's Hospital. So um, the reason we were moved down to John Hunter Hospital is first and foremost was so he could be closer to his nights, you know, because he loves his nights, as you can see. 
I know, no. Yeah. Yeah. So, but um, also, like, for us to be that one step closer to home and home will eventually be Kempsey. So once the um, modifications and all all that are done at the house and Nono can go home to and actually get into the house and because there needs to be ramps put in and um, the bathroom needs a whole a complete modification, doors need to be widened so Nono can get into the house, mm. uh, things like that. So once they're done, then the next step will be for us to go home and yeah. settle into what home will life will be like for us, I suppose, for the future. Uh, the school also needs to have some modifications done for Nono to um, go to school there because yeah. we were living yeah. in Moree, so it's been a complete um, life changer. So we've had to mm. move from Moree to well, actually, at the moment, we don't have a house that we live in. We've been living in Ronald McDonald houses, yeah. which is has been awesome. So without them, we'd be completely lost. Yeah, no, they're wonderful, aren't they? But don't, yeah, yeah don't you uh, stress too much. We're not finished there yet, Eva. We're going to uh, do whatever we can and try to get people to help you with your modifications and yeah, all that kind of stuff. So don't you stress too much. We'll we'll do what we can to help and. Um, yeah, I'll get, that'll be great. I'll put, do, do you have a GoFundMe page or something, Timmy, set up? Or yeah, I have set up a fundraising page um, at the moment for because Nono needs a wheelchair accessible bus. Yeah. So um, we've set up a GoFundMe page with um, the goal of uh, sixty thousand dollars. Because um, NDIS will pay for the modifications to the bus, but they won't purchase the ve- yeah. the vehicle that we need. Right. So um, yeah, so for Nono to have that to be able to get around and um, go to the games and to community events and appointments, yeah. <clears throat> we just we need our own bus yeah. to be able to transport him. So yeah, yeah so we. Received quotes and that from Toyota and um, different bus companies, to where they'll be um, somewhere between sixty and seventy thousand dollars for a bus. Wow. So that's money that we, I couldn't even imagine having. Having so, you know. So, um, I, and we I'm not. We're not the type of people to ask for help, sort of things, because. No. We know what it's like to struggle and give no. people you know, no. stuff like that. So that's right. We you, don't want people. They didn't even ask to come on the show. No. Like, um, we'll, you know. we'll put the page up anyway so that if. I don't know. There might be some viewers in yeah. the show I'll, that they might be able to throw some money that way as well, hopefully. Yeah. So I'll put it out there if anyone's watching yeah. that can help. Any, you know, even if it's a builder or something that can help with modifications, let's get on to it. Yeah. Hey, Tammy, can yeah. you us, uh, can you move the camera around just uh, a little bit, to so just bit just so we can see you? So that uh, producer, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> also, is it going to have any um, like a an event, like a fundraising event for him at all? Or yeah, we're um, in the process of trying to organise. Um, like an auction night. Yep. So because oh. we've got a few people that want to donate some things and um, to help us uh, either raffle them off or um, have an auction night like a dinner type night yeah, to let, see let if it, we can raise some extra funds for let, that. Let us know and if it's, uh, you know, I'll be there. I'll help you out. Best I can. And That'd be awesome. I'd say so they are, but the rest of the boys will too. So, um, can I just say something, Dean? I'm gonna. I'll offer my services uh, to be the MC of the night for you. <laughs> oh, that'd Great be job. great. So, that'd be great. You won't be saying that at the end of the night. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but he, he is pretty good with the Toy Story, so no, nah, no, nah, Josh is hard to goal too. He scored two so. tries at touch footy today. I don't know who he was playing against, but... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if anything we can do to help you, um, not sure, you know, what we can do, but we can always try. Um, we'll keep trying for some more donations for stuff for you for, to auction off as well. Um, That'd be great. But, yeah, anything you're doing, just let us know, and if 
we can get involved, we will. If not, we'll at least give it a you know a good plug for you. And um, yeah, try and get a little smile back on the little fella's face. That's you know, and uh, yeah, help out where we can. That'd be great. Hopefully, some good. Thanks very much for that. Have you got a question you want to ask Brady before we go? You have a question you want to ask Brady? He does have a question he prepared. Oh, good work. That's the way. Brady, you got to say it really loud. What is your game game preparation? Did you hear that? Oh, game day preparation. <laughs> yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. 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 Oh, you might get a start on the panel. <laughs> uh, it's already out on us. In the morning, I'd go get a coffee. Um, and I always have muesli in the morning and then um, I'll have a pretty small lunch and I'll try and go for a swim. If I don't get to go for a swim, I'll swim at the stadium. Um, and then that's about it. And then start getting the boots on and socks on and they're yeah, getting ready to play. Do you go left, left foot or right foot yeah, first? Actually, I do, I do. I, yeah, I have a weird thing that I do on a... My left sock's got to go on first, then my right sock, then my left boot, then my right boot. My left boot's got to get tied up first. My right boot's got to get tied up. And just go goes go. like, yeah. So I don't know why I've always done it. And hey, if it works, mate, keep doing it. <laughs> That's it, whatever works. Hey, uh, whatever keeps getting them wins, you know? Who's your favourite player, mate? Kalen Ponga. Kalen Ponga. He's supposed to say Brody. He's supposed to say yeah, Brody. That's what he said. I think he said Brody Jones and then Kalen Ponga. <laughs> I've actually spoke to yeah, Connor. Yeah, I think that's what he meant to say. <laughs> I, I, I spoke to Connor and um, he was going to give you a little uh, message on his show today too, so we might have to get you hooked up to that and have a have a look as well. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, buddy. Oh well, you keep 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 up the good work, mate. That uh, I seen you uh, started walking a bit there, so you know, well done, mate. Uh, keep it up, and um, yeah, it's the only ways up from here, buddy. You'll get there. Yep, they keep telling us it's a marathon, not a race. That's it, that's mate. Yeah, that's fair enough. So we're going on eight months, so. Yeah. It's a marathon. <laughs> One step at a time. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, that's yeah. right. So, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You'll, you'll get there. And don't forget, mate, uh, you got friends here at the podcast that will help you out any way or any way you can. So keep in touch, buddy. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, mate, Welcome, buddy. It's our pleasure. <laughs> Timmy, just before you go, on behalf of our podcast, we thank you for doing all the work that you do for your son because I know that it would be a difficult situation that you're in at the moment and um, credit to you. And Thanks very much. Happy Mother's Day for Sunday too from all the guys as well. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I had a great day. And, yeah, no, thanks for coming on the show tonight as well. Uh, yeah, we appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we'll get you on again soon. And keep, keep, um, we'll keep uh, in contact and with his progress. And, yeah, we'll... Uh, no problem. I'll keep you up to date. No worries, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. All thanks right, very mate. much. See you later. See you, champion. champion. See you, mate. See ya. <laughs> see, see ya. Good work, mate. Yes. All right, guys, that was a young Troy and his mum, Tammy. Um, yeah, we'll touch more on that uh, later on through the next couple of weeks. But, uh, Kenny, you got something else for us, mate? Yeah, mate, um, just for uh, Tammy and Nono. Yeah, Nono is our uh, fan of the week, so he gets a $50 voucher to go to Sports Power and he can, yeah, buy whatever he wants. Thanks Beautiful. to Sports Power, oh, yeah. Beaumont yeah. Street, Hamilton. Good stuff. Good work. So awesome. All right, guys. Well, we we got there our special guest Brody Wills. Let's jump into crew review. Brought to you by Steak and Chops. Get yourself down to uh, to New Bay Steak and Chops. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, while we're just on there quickly, give a shout out to Terry. His uh, wife has been mm. not uh, the best of lately. So well, shout out to you guys. Good, mate. Yeah. Yeah. All the best. All the best. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. 
coming off a win. How good's that? Oh. Hey? hey, you should be asking the man here, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Made for a good weekend anyway. Yeah, so, so, so the yeah. beers were flowing on the bus on the way out? Nah, none actually. No? Nah. Short turn nah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone dry at the moment, haven't you? He's... Oh, nah, it's just short turnarounds. Yeah, so, right. yeah, six day turnaround this Friday night, and then same again into the Cowboys. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty. Just keep professional on it, I suppose. So. Yeah, 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 fair enough. Yeah, how's the uh, mood at training today turning up after the, after the better. weekend? Yeah, better, yeah. <laughs> Still, yeah. yeah but, Adam's not one to sort of, I suppose, take all the pats on the back about just the one win. Like he yeah, yeah. acknowledge it. Do this then, yeah, next job. Yeah, yeah. That's right. awesome. So. That's awesome. A few positives coming out of the mm. weekend. He was no, um, all over like, some one percenters that yeah. you pick up on that he was um, and I've jotted a couple down. There's a tackle of staff at Toa made yeah. save the try in the first yeah. half. I was um, in the second. In the second, in the second half, half, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, KP made a tackle, which was uh, which saved a try as well. Then there was a couple of efforts with blokes running back. I think Jaden Braley, Jayden, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Rapana made a break down the right edge, and yeah, yeah there's four of you. You were one of them. Four, yeah, yeah, four yeah. got back to, so they, they weren't scoring then. So yeah, yeah so mate, all those one percenters, like they they all yeah. that up, and that's that's what the wins based on. Like, that's yeah. Awesome to see. Well, Andy, you actually, for, there, Andy, you, you actually yeah. forgot the biggest point of the game, and that was the start of the second half oh, by yeah, Caleb yeah, Ponga yeah. and Fitzy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Who, did uh, you, Fitzy, did yeah. you uh, was have that? Peters? Was that planned? I uh, said so Willie Peters I was something to no do with it. Oh, true, yeah. yeah it just happened. Oh, we got the ball. Where's the ball? I must say, Lockie Fitz played well. Yeah, first, first game, game back. back from injury. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. all the boys play well. Must have been the music, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> strange <laughs> <laughs> But um, there was quite a few too. I was. What about just before half time? Um, uh, our, one of our favourites, So I So Sue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come, come back in. Come back in the start of the second half part. So yeah. what was it about? Yeah. Was have it? You, or have you had to do one of those HI, HIA tests yet? Yeah, you got to do one every year. Yeah, okay. Like a baseline and such. Yeah. Uh, what's involved yeah. in that? So, they, oh, there's heaps of stuff. There's like, they give you five words, five or ten words at the start. You got to repeat them back. And then you got to go like the months backwards. Wow. Numbers backwards, and they go from three to four to five numbers, and you got to say them backwards and repeat them backwards to them. Um, is, it, is there one where you got to spin around as well? Or uh, there's one that, like, you got to touch your nose and touch the finger like, like oh, okay quick. yeah yep a um, couple like walking ones it's like balance type ones with your eyes closed and then you've got to remember the 10 words at right at the end yeah after you've done you, all after you've done all that again yeah. I'm well, just asking it's for crap. a friend but what happens if you fail the base test because that I don't know if that <laughs> <laughs> sorry that, that, would, that would stuff my yeah, friend sorry, sorry. <laughs> that's a bit hard <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure. I don't know what they do about that. Yeah, I think they'd be a bit worried for the yeah. season, I yeah, think. Yeah. yeah, you'd be in trouble if you so, got knocked out and so went you, better a second time round. Yeah. So what are you trying to say, Josh and Fail? Oh, I'm worried about me. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, that was a good question, Josh. Actually, yeah, it's uh, yeah, interesting. It's a weird one, yeah. yeah. Mm. A card one on the computer as well. Like, yeah. Just reaction time and, yeah, you've got to do that every year as well. It's just... The mandatory sort of stuff. You so prior, to. prior to the game, Brady, what what was your what what did what? How, well, firstly, when did you when did you leave Newcastle to go to Wagga? How how did that all come about? Like to get down to Wagga? Uh so we trained. What day we play Saturday? So we trained Friday morning, done our captain's run, and then pretty well just jumped straight on the plane, straight to Wagga, checked in. Is that from Newcastle to Wagga? Yeah, straight yep. from Newcastle to Wagga, just like a charter flight. Um, yeah, done what we had to do. Had our team meeting next day, done what we had, like, you know, the usual sort of staff brekkie and team walk and then come back, team meeting on the bus to the field, play, and then we'll straight, oh, sorry, we went to a pool. They were lucky enough to have the aquatic centre keep open for us, jump yep. in the pool. It's, a, it's actually wasn't far from the ground, was it? The aquatic thing. No, I everything think was heaps close. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, it was really, yeah, just like it was that. Like, it's not even fifty meters from the ground, yeah. is it? What did you think of the ground and the crowd oh, that, that was yeah. there? Yeah, it, was, it, was, yeah. it, was, it would have been um, the atmosphere like playing at Cessna. Yeah, literally, it was very similar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. grandstand a little bit smaller, but 
I mean, it's very similar. Yeah, yeah. hills and yeah, that sort of country town. Uh, yeah. Any of the boys uh, not like the plane trips at all? <laughs> um, no one that stands out. I'm, Sit him near the wing. Watch how, how does, Cle- how does yeah. Clever go on the plane with, yeah. <laughs> with the seat rear and stuff? I think he's alright, like going like with turbulence and that sort of stuff, but there's a few boys who don't like the leg room. Like the oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Edric Lowe. Edric Lowe. Yeah, Safidi yeah. Brothers. Yeah, we, we haven't seen you since um, a couple of weeks ago. We went we went down to Penrith. Did you happen to have the chance to see that uh, a few of us were actually at that game? Yeah, I did. I saw you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was sitting there cruising back. <laughs> Freezing. It's so cold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was so did, cold. Did you see you eating the ham and cheese toaster sandwich? No, I didn't. That was gone, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. going to share it with you, but yeah. it was too good. <laughs> if you blinked, you would have missed it. Yeah. Like, that, that was sandwich number five. <laughs> <laughs> it was good? Yeah, it was It was yeah. better than McDonald's Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll be worried because he's eating it and his fingernails look like they'll go on in as well. But, uh, <laughs> nah, it's good. Poor <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Josh. Doesn't. I do love Penrith. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're based on obviously you played Penrith. Um, yep. they're, they're the they're leading leading the comp at the minute, yep. um, and obviously you played the Raiders last weekend. What what's how how good are the how how good are Penrith going? They're good. They're a good team. Yeah. yeah. Uh, very uh, versatile in attack. I mean, move the ball so much, and it makes it very hard to defend them. Did you have to tackle kick out? Against Penrith? Oh, I can't. Oh. I'm not sure. I know Kurt Mann did, didn't he? Yeah, he did. <laughs> he had to do a bit of it. Jerome, <laughs> Jerome Lewis, he's just... Yeah, he's, he's gone. He's killing it. Yeah. Oh, he's just full of beans. Him, him and Nathan, they yeah. played together from when I versed them to coming through to the yeah. SG ball and all that. So mm. yeah. They just know so did each you other's game just like... In the like, 20s as well, you would have played... I didn't play many 20s, 20s games. Oh, no. oh, you didn't play? Yeah, no. Was it Toyota Cup, was it, under 20s? Yeah, so, I, oh, I, you I never... probably only played three or four games oh, in 20s. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. A couple bad injuries and yeah, put yeah. me out for a little while. But yeah. Yeah, Did you get a chance to catch up with um, Hudson Young on the weekend? Or? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I caught up with uh, Hud and uh, Tommy Starling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tommy, yeah. yeah. So there would have been five. If Basami was playing in our role that, that day, there would have been mm. five of us from our... 16s team that yeah yeah they've done pretty well that year so it's, yeah, it's good yeah. gotta send out a bit of a shout out to horses the oh, army yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was there that was bad it was it was gruesome. Gruesome. Yeah. Yeah. and and credit credit to the Raiders players in that game like um, Ryan, uh, James. Ryan James stopped yeah. the game mm. tried to stop the game straight away yeah and true too that he didn't want the whistle no he wanted to walk off and he wanted yeah. to walk off didn't want to hold the game up mm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would have been. I would have. I would have wanted that whistle. Yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> I would have wanted to walk back. Yeah, yeah. yeah just. must have some pain threshold. Mm. Yeah, mate, I'd been screaming. I would have um, been asking for a couple of whistles. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, Brody, uh, we've got a special question um, from yeah. our producer. Uh, would like to ask a question. Okay, that's a rarity. <laughs> um, with last time you were here, yep. it was on the eve of everything changing for you. You didn't like. I was it four days later. You became the poster boy. Everyone yeah, loved right. what you did that following that next game. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, How it was much too. Of a change? It was unavoidable. You would have saw your name spread everywhere because everyone it thinks you. You know, that was like, wow, where have you been? What was that? What was that feeling? That just in one your performance in one game, you just became. A superstar. A superstar. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, I think. Yeah, I, only three, yeah, four I, days later, you know, was you were just here. Yeah. That made us feel really crowded. Yeah. But no, I don't know. Just say it was a show. You can if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Put him on I'm for eighty minutes this week. But no, I, I don't know. It was weird. Like I sort of stayed off the social media as much as I could. Just it was just going crazy. I could only imagine what like Connor and Caitlin and all them sort of high-profile players are, are like. Like that. Yeah, it sort of half nearly drove me crazy. Not crazy, but like. It was a shock. Yeah, it was just like so much was going on, and like mm. I'm, you know. Hundreds pretty of laid, boxes and Yeah, that. I'm pretty laid back, and I sort of. Well, that's cru- what I got. Cruise about. Watching. Yeah, I'm just pretty, sort of laid back, and I was just going like. I, I thought, I felt that, like when, I, when you're here, yeah. like, you're nervous. Like, you know, mm. quiet, you're a very quiet person. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm, And yeah, I thought, yeah. wow, just mm. instant change. Change, yeah. But you, like, it, like, you do know 80 of them inboxes were from Josh. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know, that, 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 that time that you are on the show, last time you were on our show, yeah. 
Um, Kurt was also on the show. Yeah. Mm. And he's both scored a try. And now I have to get a tattoo because of that. Magic round. And look, we might have to get Kurt via Zoom or something tonight just to. Do oh. it all again. So, why have we got Brady here? It's said it's magic round. Do you want to go another bet with me? No. Uh, it's not my turn. Surely it's Kenny's. No, you've still got some more canvas. Yeah. Kenny, yeah. Heaps. <laughs> heaps. Right. No, I'm, 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 just, happy, I'm just happy if uh, Brady gets some more game time. Oh, 100%. And, um, 100%. Yeah. yeah. But, and gets a try, I'll, I'll have you on my um, multi. <laughs> now that I've said it, I've got to put it in my multi. No, and I, that, that game, mate, you just did what you do, mate. You just, That's right. just That was yeah. just how you played for me. Hey. Um, I, I think you just you got the minutes and you mm. kind of announced yourself to the NRL that year. And yeah. This but is Brady Jones. As so. we've spoken about too, like if you know having issues in the centre, why couldn't they throw him in? I wouldn't. Yeah. I think um, Adam O'Brien, he probably doesn't want to talk about himself, but Adam O'Brien, mm. I think, said in the media the last couple of days he was close to doing that this week. So, like, mm. last last game this oh, week on yeah. the weekend, so... Yeah, didn't even know about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you did, yeah? Mate, you're there, you're mm. there, so... Hopefully a new new contract soon, and you're at yeah. Newcastle for how, the next how, 10 years, yeah, doing yeah. that every week, so... Yeah. How was awesome. your phone call uh, from your manager after that game? Like, when you... Yeah, I yeah. did. <laughs> he would have been like, yep, I'm getting on to it now. <laughs> yeah, no, um, he's pretty cruisy. Like, he's, he's, yeah, he's sort of he's not too pushy with that sort of stuff. So yeah. I think I, I spoke to him probably maybe six days after the whole thing, like yeah. sort of closer to the Penrith game than yep. the actual. Mm. Yeah, so he, he's pretty good with it all. Just yeah, keeps me grounded and... Yeah, that's well, good. As old boy does, he's pretty. Yeah, oh, I think he's yeah. a pretty grounded person anyway, to be honest. But I think I'm um, on a hundred percent footy. I think that game after that game, uh, Big Gal gave you a rap too, mm. mate. Yeah, so yeah, he's yeah. giving yeah. you a few yeah. 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 So yeah. I think I think before they start the show off, they you know what's their what what was their, their sight thing or their best thing of the round or whatever. Yeah, yeah and Big Gal said that yeah, your performance against Cronulla. Mm. So yeah. really, yeah, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Who's your who's your toughest opponent you've ever come up against? That you individually or yeah as a, as a um, I'd probably have to say it would be Josh Wilton. <laughs> touch touch for you today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'd probably have to say probably kick out. I'd say mm. yeah. just being in my debut yeah. game like sure. it was such yeah. a big thing. But in that yeah, at the time I had Sione there as well yeah. helping me, which was. A lot. Oh, don't yeah. make Dean cry. Oh, You've right. said the words, Sione. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. no yeah, he's, he's moved on. Yeah. He's, yeah. Got, um, he's, he's got, got Jesse, Jesse Sue. Sue. Yeah, 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 well, he's a good. <laughs> oh, I've got a few, oh, actually. Hey, you know, I think I'm quite good. But we do a 3 2 1 each week. Yeah. Dean does like a 12. <laughs> oh, 12 oh, I, did. Eight. <laughs> yeah. I do the 3 2 and 1 at a special mention. I think it's 16 this week. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, you can't leave anyone out, you know. It's obviously, obviously, the Raiders game this weekend was a, a good result. Like last weekend was a good result with yep. um, Phoenix coming back and playing in the mm-hmm. halves. He, he, yeah, he done well. He, he yeah, done he well. Yeah. Um, Jane and Bradley's just just yeah, doing just what he does. Really, yeah, just he, tackle like. I, I, it'd be interesting to see, like, if he was if he was in the side game. last year and didn't get injured. Yeah, what, what, what kind of sort of where we could have. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you got Tyson Frizzell too. He just doesn't stop. Yeah, he's a gun. And yeah, Connor. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Connor. Connor's put up a bit. Is, yeah. is yeah. Frizzell like um, tough as nails? Like, is he a hard trainer? Yeah. Does all the hard yards? Yeah. Yeah. He, he looks like he just. Yeah. Like even when he's buggered, he just takes a run up and yeah. does it for the he's team. Just, mm. He's just, mm. just fit. And, yeah. yeah, he's just. Yeah. Was it good to see uh, Fitzy back on the paddock? Yeah, he's good. He's yeah. yeah. He's good to be back. Yeah, he played yeah. right too after the game. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm that. disappointed he got rid of the beard, but I I, I liked his beard. You like it? Yeah, mm-hmm. his missus didn't like it, but yeah, I, apparently. Yeah, got to cut his hair as well. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of beards and yeah, I've got to have one. I've, no, I've got to have one. What's going on with Connor and uh, KP? Yeah, there's a few of them. I think there's yeah, is it the Mo? Yeah, they got yeah, the Mo. Yeah, the Mo's got a bet going on. I think. Oh, they've oh, got a bet, bet going, going on. on. Oh, oh, right, right, now we know. <laughs> yeah, fair yeah, enough. You heard, you heard it first. There, first, there you yeah. go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on, but apparently Connor's. He's lost it, apparently. The boys were saying today, but ah. they had trimmed it or something, so they weren't. Yeah, I know. I, I had a look at his um, podcast there today, and it was pretty going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'll tell you. Might have filmed that. 
Yeah, might have filled out a bit there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Needs a bit of editing. Oh, <laughs> 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 obviously, it's something to do with the footy, the bet. Obviously, oh, I, I don't know what the bet Daddy, is. Oh, okay, I yeah. was just talking to one of the lads about it today because they were saying how Connor apparently had trimmed, trimmed it, it or, or you know, tied it up a little bit and yeah. we weren't allowed yeah. to, so apparently. So. Yeah. Is that taxing on it as well? I think he's got a mode too, uh, hasn't he? Yeah, I think there's a couple of them. Yeah. Yeah, there's four or five of them, I think. Yeah. Braden Musgrove's got one too, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. oh he's, yeah, always, he's, he's always had it, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. right, no, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. What's he doing on the weekend? Ribs or something, has he? Or? No, I don't think he... I don't think he's uh, broke him again. He had it's broke him before. Okay. Um, but I think it was the... Uh, like where they calcified. Yeah, and, right, um, just a knock. Yeah, he got, mm. just got yeah. on him. Yeah, he was a bit... Yeah, it wouldn't be much he thought he did. Yeah, yeah, he thought he did. He thought he did redo him. Yeah, right. He, they, yeah, they that was another 1% of two. He jumped on a ball at the end there. Yeah, After yeah. he'd been injured. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah gutsy. Those little, little ones. But yeah. And he was, he was there yeah, holding his ribs too. Yeah. Up, yeah. Just effort areas. Yeah. Right. Just wanted yeah. to get on that ball first. So, yeah. yeah. yeah we'll keep he's, going, he's going keep well doing too. that, mate. We'll go a long way. So. Yeah, that's what it's all about. That's the Newcastle way. So. Who was your uh, player's player for the weekend? Probably would have said Browse. Yeah. yeah. Just probably... Good pick. Oh, yeah, I would have yeah, that's that. yeah. Good pick. Yeah, we've got a bit of a man crush on him. Yeah, he's, he's a gun, that's mate. That's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I look forward to uh, Magic Ground. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. fly yeah, up Thursday, did you say? Yeah, so yeah. fly yeah. up Thursday morning. Yep. Train up there. Yep. Play Friday. Week in Friday Brisbane. Night. Then to yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think they're on the sunny coast. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I don't yep, know where exactly that is, but oh, are you staying up? Are you staying up there for the whole weekend, or are you just, yeah, we'll the stay up there a whole week. You know, fly to Townsville. Oh yeah, yeah, cool. On the road for yeah, yeah, eight nine days, whatever. So. Yeah, yeah. worst places to hang out mm. the Sunshine Coast. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah beach every day. And, um, and what, do you, what do you think of the uh, the Magic Round? Do you do you like the the onset? Well, I, I, yeah. like obviously last year didn't have because of COVID. COVID but the, year yeah, before, yeah. the year before, I went there for the whole weekend, and uh, unreal. Like yeah. the yeah. amount yeah. of the atmosphere at the games was, was sensational. That a touch footy, Magic Round. No, yeah. no yeah. rugby league. <laughs> I, I was, grade. That's when Nathan Brown was the coach. He was nearly yeah. going to call me. I, but, I like I like yeah. the concept, but I think each year it should be in a different. Yeah, you know, know. spread yeah, it out. Like I say, yeah. next year it should be at you know somewhere McDonald Bankwest Jones. Stadium, just for an example. Yeah. And um, imagine it, imagine if it was at McDonald Jones. Oh, yeah, it'd be awesome, awesome, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It'd be huge. Yeah, yeah. 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 even Perth, I reckon yeah. they deserve it. So each year, well, just the nines over there. That was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Was that a fast? Was that like playing the nines? Was that like fast paced? Like yeah, it was stinking hot too, wasn't it? It was like. That's when forty something degrees, wasn't it? When you the first the day, first day? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's when Tex Hoy was noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. In the nines, yeah, he's good yeah. at that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. That's awesome, man. Well, uh, yeah, we haven't got you all night tonight, so good luck that's on the good. weekend. Thank and you very much. yeah, play well. Yeah. And, uh, Couple Get of tries from you this weekend, I reckon, eh? Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Superstitious, eh? Hey. That's me bold prediction. You bold. You me bold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get that later. We'll get that later. <laughs> 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 Too easy. Anyway, mate, you play well, and yeah. uh, we know Thanks you will. Thanks for coming and in again. Thanks for coming, Brad. Cheers, mate. So, Cheers, mate. Virgin. And, uh, yeah, we'll be watching on the weekend, and, uh, yeah. yeah. Come Thank over and we'll win. Yeah, two points. Awesome. Two in a row. Tigers. Tigers did us last time, so we are on. All right, if if you score a try this week, if if you score a try this weekend, I will buy you a meat pack from Steak and Chops. No, hang on, because we get a meat pack. No, I'll I'll, I'll buy get that. You'll get 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 one. And I'll buy you another one for your <laughs> mum and dad. Yeah. Okay. That was actually going to spend money. He's, I'm pretty uh, happy. <laughs> his, meat pack, his definition of a meat pack's half a kilo of snags, but so. <laughs> I'll, I'll work like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyway, uh, yeah, play well and. Uh, yeah, we know you will, and we'll uh, see you home we'll when we win, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Please beat those right. Tigers, because my dad goes for the Tigers. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. No, you're right. All good. No, All right, guys. Uh, that was uh, Brody Jones, and uh, we'll be back after these uh, short messages. Hi, I'm Ash. I'm 36, and I live in Newcastle. Um, I've been a nice supporter since pretty much 1988, when they were first established, of course. That's what I grew up with. My favourite player, of course. My favourite player would have to be Andrew Johns. 
Who could ever forget the banana key? My favorite memory of being a Newcastle Knights supporter had to be the 97 Tiki Tac Parade. Um, when we were on the grand final, of course, walking through the streets of Hamilton and yeah, walking all the way from there, we went into Civic Park and yeah, all day, good day all around and watching them up on the balcony and celebrating with every Nova Castrian. And yeah, go the Knights. All right, guys, it's that time of the night again, Josh. Yes, uh, Spinners, Night of the Round, brought to you by Burger Edge. And uh, we were actually, on last Saturday after the game, we actually headed down to Burger Edge at uh, Green Hills. Yeah. And I had the Wacky see. Classic and the um, spicy chicken wings with the sauces. I highly don't recommend the sauces. They were way let's, too hot. Let's talk about the chilli sauce. Mm. He had the chilli sauce. He didn't have the chilli. You, you had the chicken. You didn't have the chili sauce. I didn't sauce. have the sauce, no. Nah. He had a sniff nah. of it, I didn't want it. No. Nah. Oh, yeah. well, you, you didn't just dip it. your finger in it or nothing just to taste it. It was just that hot, was it? Oh, it was bad. No, it wasn't that bad. He it had a bad. sniff. It wasn't he had that a sniff. Yeah. I think I ate all Anyway, the boys, um, it is time for Night of the Round, brought to you by Burger Rouge. And uh, the Kenny, chili you, sauce. you can start us off with your 3 2 1. Oh, me 3 2 1. Not 16 4 and no, 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 no. we'll just yeah. Um, for uh, one point, I might give it to uh, the halfback, I think Phoenix Crossland. Yeah. I thought he played a blinder, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good so game, didn't he? Was I'll give one point to Phoenix, yep. Um, two points, this was hard, but uh, Jaden Braley, and Ooh. there was you know, there was a few other players in there yep. as well that I reckon deserved it too. Kurt Mann being one, but yep. yeah, I gave it to JB. And uh, three points going to me, man. KP. KP, man. yeah. He's uh, 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 a couple of errors from him what... on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, Caught but he's only human. And, yeah, yeah. Mate, he copped an off. Just quietly, yeah. Kenny, both of your uh, three and two are your man crushes. Yes, they are, mate. Well, I did name my son <laughs> after one of them, so yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, nah, that's my three, two, one anyway. So, well yeah. done uh, there, Kenny. Uh, well, Smithers, your six to one. Uh, my six to one this week. Yeah, no, actually, um, I'll go for backwards this. My throw, Lucky Fitz. Mm -hmm. Thought it played well, yeah, you especially did. you know first game back after a long time. So, yeah. and uh, number two, no surprise really, Connor Watson. You know, little pocket dog, man, never yeah, stops. Has, has he replaced the only? Has he? No, no, I've got, a, I've, got, I've, got a five, I've got a five. I yeah. can't cheat on them all. Jesse Sue, mate. Jesse Sue. Jesse Sue. Jesse Sue. And Kurt. Yeah. And Kurt. And who's your number one, Smith? Oh well, this was a hard one, but I had to give Young Phoenix number one, and. I'm sorry, Kurt, but you were cl very close. But I had to, you know, you used the brain, not the heart. And but yeah, my special mention. Oh, here we go, yep. <laughs> has to go to uh, Jesse Sue. Got knocked out, sort of. But yeah, I, I think. Got up and went again. And might have been a, bit of, a um, bit of a stinger or a burner, I yeah, think. Yeah, because he was grabbing stinger. the neck, yeah. Mm. So. He's tough as nails. Oh, he's, yeah. he's got a little bit of footwork at the line, too. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, that little yeah. step. Now, did you see him? Um, he pulled down old mate out of dummy half, too. He, he was off. If, yeah. If, yeah, if Suasso didn't get him, I reckon yeah. he would have been off. Yeah, yeah no. So. So, he get, he we gets talk about him every week, mention. but yeah, no, he's going well. So does Kirk. Kirk gets a special mention every week. So. Yeah. Yeah, couple, yeah, I think with Phoenix, it was the Kirk first time he was waiting the number too, seven jersey. Too. Yeah, no, he had a good game. But yeah, good to see. a couple of errors from Kirk, but... I still rate his kicking game. You yeah. look at his kicks. Uh, yeah, they're good. A the couple best. of dribbles into the in goal, which Phoenix. I think uh, a few of them got us a repeat set. Yeah, so. and just even game was pretty good too. Yeah, true. It yeah. was. And he's only going to get better, but yeah. Kurt's high balls and that too. You, you look at him and you think, I'd hate to be the fullback trying yeah. to catch them. Yeah, so. that's a positive for next year too. Did you see um, Jake Clifford's game on the weekend? Some mm. of the high balls uh, yeah. he was putting up. Yeah, apparently out of blinder. Uh, he yeah, did have a good game, mate. Yeah, really, well. really good game. So anyway, He's, Andy, yeah. what's yours? Three points, Jaden Braley, and I look. I put a tick. I didn't write his name down when uh, when Braley said it. Um, Brady. Brady said it. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, two points, Connor Watson, and one point to David Clemmer, your oh, favourite player. Well, believe it or not, my one point goes to David Clemmer. He had a good game. He did play good. Um, so for all the people that probably thought that I was a bit how you going with David Clemmer on the last week's show, I've had a couple of people <laughs> privately message me and say, what are you doing with Clemmer? Um, he's got me one point this week. Uh, Jaden Braley, uh, just outstanding. Um, he's a gun, mate. He's just too good. Um, and it would, would have been interesting, uh, uh, obviously, it would have been interesting to see 
if we had um, Jaden Braley last year, year yeah. what, what could have been. Oh. Um, mm. and, and my three points goes to Caelan Ponga. Yeah. Just for yeah. his... Uh, the, 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 kick, the kick that he did in um, the... Start of the second half. Yeah, the short Brilliant. kick off. Uh, Brilliant. Yeah. Well, well, Willie. Really, I think Willie Peters was a bit of a helping hand with that and got in his ear. Mm. But um, apparently, in the press conference, Adam O'Brien was saying that they were thinking about doing something tricky the last few games, and it just happened to be this game. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Do it. Just got to yeah. off. Think out of the box. And, and that's 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 a, that's a type of that's a type of um, assistant coach Willie Peters yeah. is yeah. like. He, you know, he's a he's a half back or a fight, you know. So do it more often. Yeah, often, yeah. 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 We, we we needed the ball back to start yeah, that second half, and we got it back. Just and got us off on that front foot. Foot. Yeah, foot. Yeah, I think we got straight re- away. Yeah, we got the repeat set, and yeah. then we scored. Correct. So yeah. Yeah, so. no, it was good. Yeah, that was awesome to see. Well, boys. the other thing on your mate David Clemens, you see the mole came out today. The mole saying that um the Knights and the Broncos are looking at a swap deal him for Matt Lodge. Yeah, well, no, don't you, like it. I'm just going to nip that on the butt they've, now. They've, 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 they've already come out saying yeah, it's not happening. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a question coming up later about that. So Is there? We'll, right we'll, we'll leave that for that one. It's not happening. Yeah, we'll leave that for that one. Jersey. Well, boys, that's nine of the round. As you can see behind us, fans, you can see that the leaderboard is up behind us. Who's leading on how many points? Just looking at the board there, Josh. Can you see the board? Jaden Braley's on 35. Who's coming? Who's coming second, Josh? A close second. Who's in sixth position? <laughs> Stop stitching me up. <laughs> uh, cut. Anyway. Oh, no worries. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's uh, what caught my eye time. Remarkable impressions. Ah, Kenny. Yes. Well, what caught my eye was uh, out of the Melbourne and South game, I just... Oh, I don't understand what's going on with these referees. It's just inconsistent every week. But there was one play there, I think, where South... They would have scored in the corner... But I think a decoy runner ran through. And he actually jumped out of the way of the defensive line and sort of made his way through the line. He even jumped out of old mate's way. I think it was Jerome Hughes. And Jerome Hughes just deliberately ran into him, hmm. threw himself on the hmm. ground because he knew that the- they'd go back and look at it and they'd take the try off him. Like, what's getting me, all right? If the defensive line's going to deliberately run into the player and fall on the ground, yeah, well, it should be play on. Yeah. That's right. Mate, especially if that player either moves out of the way or if he runs through the line. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, but when, when they deliberately run into him because they know they'll get the penalty, they, they, they should be penalised themselves. But what Not gets for, me too is then Graham Ennersley comes out on the Monday and says, yeah, they got it wrong. Wrong, yeah. Well, it's come on. It's too late. It's just, it's, it's, that's it's right. It if they decided the game. Yeah. Well, imagine it's if going that to decide someone getting into the semis and it's going to decide a grand final. That's right. Yeah. And that's where it's going to end up being well, a, a Cam- oh, sorry Canberra. for me, French, but a shit show. Yeah. So. Canberra with yeah. a six again call. Yeah. Well, then no it's, six again. Yeah. Well, you know, well, that and, lost that. I've got one and, blue and then, eye and one red eye. I'm obviously pretty biased, but even the Knights try in the first half. Um, Tuali's try, Tuali's try yeah. was disallowed. Like, they're, yeah. they're similar there. Like, mm. they yeah, they, he, but he, he, with, um, I, I can un- Giselle, I can understand that one because he yeah. was on he was on the wrong wrong side. He's supposed yeah, to be on the inside shoulder. He was on the outside. It's a, but it's, it's still the still same a, thing. Still, the defender Whiten, making a decision too. Yeah, like, Whiten, it, Well, actually, Whiten didn't even run into him. Whiten put his hands up and pushed him. And then yeah. when he realised that they'd got on the outside, he oh, yeah. oh, oh they weren't going to the were stop him anyway. They were, they were, by the time and that happened, the ball was KP didn't even run in that hole. He ran. And to around right. another Canberra That's player right. to make to go into the no, so no impact on the yeah, there the needs ball. to be and Jack White wasn't going to get Ponga. They need no to be someone has to be held accountable, yes, yes. but and, they need to sit down end of the joke. season, maybe it's, and all they need get an under overhaul. the one, under yeah. the one needs rule book. Like yeah. this ref and this ref and this. You know, video ref need to all be yeah. under the same. The biggest clanger on the weekend it, was Drew Hutchinson about, about the decision. Yeah, it took them 20 yeah, minutes like, to make the decision. Yeah. And, yeah, the, and, they, and the other thing, and too, they sacked the video ref for that. Well, why can't they? You know, it's and the other thing as well is one right, one incident will happen in one game, 
The ref will go penalise them for them. The same yeah. incident will happen in another game and they'll yeah. let it go. Yeah. That, that's what I mean. Like, they've all got to be under the one. There's no, there's no, there's no consistency. No, in, no, in they've all got to be under whatsoever. the same None whatsoever. understanding of the rules because this bloke's interpretation of the rule is different to this bloke. Right. So they've it's, all got to be under the same. Uh, do, do, they, do they meet or every week or every whatever or every month to, to uh, who, say who what's knows, going on? Until they're all under the same interpretations of the rules. It's, it's never going to well, change. Well, it's it's like in any other person's job, you you follow a proceed, procedure, procedure, yeah, or a rule, or and all rules yeah. and regulations. Yeah, well, that, that's what they do. But the it's not. Can't. That's it's not, not a, mate, it, it's their own opinion of what's going on. Sometimes half of them, yeah. and that's why some some of there's like it, it, Caelan Pong a couple of weeks ago for for an example, jumps up to catch the ball. They take him out. Mm. No penalty mm. awarded. Yeah. All right. He's now that round, yeah. Now that yeah. round, it probably happened three or four times, and all the other referees probably gave a penalty yeah, for it. That's you right. know what I mean? So, but, but the problem is, like they, they try to make these rules to make the game black and white. It's never going to be black, be black and, and white because every no. situation's different. That's, so, right. that's right. So there has to be some sort of, you know, anyway. this, but, but when it's when it's the yeah. same incident happening in, you know what I mean, in yeah, different yeah. games and yeah. different consequences are happening for yeah, it, it, right. it makes you think, and you got to right. you got to think, well, what's this match with kidding me committee or yeah, that's who, right. who's ahead? of the football, you know, what, yeah. what, what, no, that, are they watching these games the, or are they just going out to the pub of a weekend and going, yeah, yeah cheers, yeah, that's yeah, right, yeah. That's right. But that, all, hit on, that hit on Caelan Ponger on the weekend, he, he wasn't even charged with that. Yeah, no charge. nothing, nothing happened to him. But the, the same sh- thing the happened shoulder, to Tedesco. Shoulder. There's real so like, again, like, you know. Ball's this, gone, shoulder to the head. head mm. Same thing with Tedesco. So yeah. He gets placed on a report, but he don't. Like, yeah. so, yeah. A couple of weeks Come ago. Um, Seriously. The Roosters player, what's his name, got off from that head high tackle. Victor Free Radley. to play. Victor, yeah, Radley. Victor Radley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there was another one that did similar. Uh, the Penrith bloke, yeah. Morvorowski, yeah. he got four weeks. Yeah. Mm. So there's another it's, thing. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, same, same with Ikevalu. Mm. Breaks Blake Green's ribs. Yeah. And nothing that happens to him. Like, he deliberately took him out. Yeah. Mm. It's uh, yeah, he, he's been charged. The match review committee have charged him. I think he's looking at three or four weeks. But Ikevalu. No, no, no. For yeah. the one on Blake Green, oh, yeah, no, nothing no, no, happened. No, no, nothing sorry, happened sorry, to him. Yeah, I don't yeah, even sorry. think he got fined. We, we, you know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. we could go on this or not because yeah. honestly, well, it's all never I've got to say dark. about all I've got to mention about that is, you know, when when a result in like local league or something like that happens, there's ways that you can dispute it. Yeah, dispute a result. Like in the National it's, Rugby League, you, you just got to cop it on the cheek. You can't. Yeah, you can't dispute a result. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't dispute a result once the whistle blows. What's What's frustrating is, like Dean said before, when they come out Monday morning and say, sorry, we got that yeah. decision wrong, yeah. and it's like, well, it's too late, mate. We saw it in the George late. game. With the, right. um, we lost a two-point, yeah. It's what's his name? Um, he used to play for the Knights, second row. Tarek Sims. Tarek Sims. Sims. Try. They said, yeah, he's offside. Like, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Too yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, the charge sorry. down. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. You'd love to know... Mm. How what what happens in the referees meetings yeah. after the game and how much oh, feedback mate. there is? Yeah. Someone they, they, they need to get are feed. they accountable? Yeah, well they should be. Well, the, yeah. yeah, but how are they accountable? Here's an yeah. idea. The same referees make the Here's same mistakes every week. And we, and they still get the same. This, this, games. Yeah. Okay, say they're on. This is just for shits and giggles. Say they're on six hundred grand a year. Who? The refs. This is just for shits and giggles figures. That, that's pretty big shits and giggles. Yeah. Well, <laughs> okay, you bring it back down to oh, four hundred, and then they get a performance. Yeah, well, I reckon, yeah. I reckon uh, you performed well, you did well, you did a good job. Are on, extra, yeah. The referees are on no winning. Oh, I don't know. I know it's professional, I but I don't 100, know. 100, 100, 100 to 150. Okay, I think. well, bring, so bring back Bill Harrigan. But then uh, you watch the referee and standings change yeah. dramatically because they all want their bonus. Yeah, if they, take, yeah, yeah, they get a bonus they, or they take that. Yeah. A perfect person <laughs> for um, to be the referee's boss needs to be someone that's played the game, plus has got. Is well known in. Phil I reckon, Gould. Not Phil Good, yeah, but I reckon, Gould. I reckon Mark Geyer would be perfect because yeah. he he reckon? he knows rugby in, like he knows rugby league like the back of his hand. Uh, all right, all right. But Phil he Gould. knows he knows. Like he he st- he used to step over the line. Yeah, sometimes I was thinking referees. someone maybe like Sterlo yeah. or Peter Sterling. Sterling. Yeah, yeah you know right. he's he's great. He's got a great rugby league mind. You know yeah. what I mean? The reason so, I say Good. He was a player. 
He's a coach, coach and yeah. he's been a CEO. Yeah. So he's yeah. done it all. Why, done it all yeah. why would Gus Gould want to do that job? But he, no, he, Gus, he, Gus he, Gould's, he's already got a job with yeah, the Warriors. He, he wouldn't touch yeah. that but, job. But he, he'd be I a perfect, he would, yeah. perfect bloke for Anyone with half no, a brain. Would be, he would, don't get me wrong. Anyone yeah. with half a brain wouldn't touch that job with mm. a mm. six foot mile. And why do you think Annalise's doing it? He's never going to win. Well, he's he's not really. Looking well, he wasn't. A, he wasn't. Sutton, a to- Sutton's, Sutton's excuse the my boss. French, but he, he wasn't the best referee in the game either. Yeah, like, have yeah. you seen some of the games he refereed? Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah. but um, right. Sutton, Sutton's the boss. Sutton's making the calls with him. But, yeah, yeah. But anyway, well, let's move on for that one. That What's yours? Uh, well, hang on. What was that? What were we doing then? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. What caught my eye? What caught my what eye? Caught my eye? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll come out with a good. Yeah, that was good. What caught my eye actually was from the Wagga game. Yeah. How many Knights fans were actually there? Yeah, there's a fair few. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Domo was out there. Yeah. Did, did you see the photo after the game? Yeah. Honor and that? Yeah. yeah. Did you see a lot of the podcast jackets? Yeah. There's a photo did. of them all in a line. Yeah. 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 So yeah. good on them. No, I thought it was uh, it good to get out there supporting them. Yeah, 100%. Those, yeah. those guys go to all the, and girls, they go to a lot of games. Yeah, yeah they do. They I, mean, they're, 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 I think they're going they're, to they're Brisbane too this yeah. week. Yeah. And Damo has. Told us that he's actually got good news. He actually got to take his flag to yeah. Wagga. Wagga, and he also gets to take, take it, it to, to the Brisbane. Yes. So, so he also yeah. was very happy that double, you know, double or nothing he had last week with um, with Lockie Lucky. Fitzgibbon playing mm. paid off for him, so he doesn't have to get a tattoo anymore. So oh, very happy with that decision. Yeah. But you know, so. I mean, good on they get to go to all them games. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's in the run on side, they and he's in the run on side this week. Yeah, right. I mean, good on him, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I'd love to get a lot more games, but work holds us up. But, um, yeah. yeah, good on them if you can get to them, mate. Yeah, that's yeah, it. No, my, my, my money's just hard. I'd, I'd love to, mate, get to a more way mm, games yeah. for them, but it's just the yeah. dollars. Yeah. Just and junior, the situation. And sport. And yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah, I'm a young, yeah, I'm a junior coach, so, yeah. It's well, what caught my eye? Um, mine came out of the, the Wagga trip as well. It was when the boys were getting on the bus after the game. When yeah. I oh, yeah. saw this. Yes. There, was a, there was a little girl out the front, and she was a little bit upset, and I think Lockie Fitzgibbon Lockie Fitz, yeah, yeah. grabbed her and said, you know, what's wrong? And she went, oh, I wanted to see KP, and he... That's typical Lockie Fitz, bro. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. grabbed KP, and they, you know, he got jumped off the bus, and they looked yeah, after her, so, yeah, yeah that, that was... I thought that was awesome. But yeah, that, that, that's, 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 mate, that's what it's all about. You know, yeah. at the end of the day, you go and play football, but it's well, about the community. Well, that's and, grassroots. And yeah. looking after so, the fans. It doesn't too, surprise so. me about that it was Lockie Fitz. That, and KP. Oh, yeah, like 100%. KP. But, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. But, you know, that... That's Lockie too. too yeah, yeah, you go, you go you know down and see him at training. Lockie's always like, right. he's yeah. the first I, one to come I'll over. I tell you, well, that's he's, um, that's the culture of the club, but that's yeah. what they're trying to build. You know? oh, oh, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's always been, yeah. Back to being a community well, club. There's, so. there's, a, there's a lot of them like that, you know. Yeah. There's like CKP, Connor's the same. Kurt Mann's the same, Brody Jones, Brody Jones. Yeah. Josh oh. King. King. Yeah, they're all doing it. Yeah, well, like King is with... Uh, yeah, he's well, is your man crush? Is he? No, he's just because just he's got the first uh, same name as me. Josh. Josh. What, what, what King what does T? a lot for the children's hospital yeah. at um, yeah. John Hunter, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Good bloke. Good bloke. Yeah. No, he's no relation, so... He's, but he's got the same name as you. No, he's got the same surname. What about Josh Adokar? Yeah, so well, like. speaking about Josh Adokar, <laughs> that's actually what caught my eye. Um, what, did you see how I led you into that? <laughs> Josh oh. Adokar. And he hasn't even seen it. Um, but, you, you, told, uh, you told me before we kicked off, but... Uh, Josh Adokar, <laughs> did I? Yeah. Oh. Uh, my, uh, my, uh, what caught my eye is uh, Josh Adokar's six tries against the Rabbitohs. Yes. Uh, first time since 1950. Yeah, good none, of this, none of the people in this Gary, room. Gary, Gary was Gary, there. Gary, were you born oh, 1950? Yeah, Gary was Gary there. Gary might have been. Oh, Gary. he wasn't oh, even there either. Wasn't even born was, there either. Gary wasn't there. Oh, jeez, it must have been um, a long time ago. I'm actually... Producer? I'm going to do, oh, I'm gonna do a um, Smithers this week um, and do... Uh, I'm gonna, I've got two what caught my eyes instead of one. Have no, hold the phone. You can't have two. No, no, no. no. I'll, but, but, I'll make a captain's call and you can have two. All right, sweet, Josh. My, my <laughs> other one is, um, I'm not sure if you've seen with what's going on over in India at the moment with the cricket. Yeah. No, I'll take that but, back. You can no. have one. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, Mate, this is, yeah, we're at Newcastle Knights podcast. Yeah, I understand we're not that. A, not a Cricket not Australia a podcast. Cricket well, I understand yeah. that, but let me finish, boys, because um, the NRL... Um, welcome so, back to Australian <laughs> Cricket Podcast. Um, uh, the, the NRL... Um, chew, chew. CEO Todd Greenberg, Greenberg who oh, used yeah, to be the, the CEO, old, yeah, yeah. he's now the CEO of Cricket Australia. Mm. Oh god! And yeah, the, Australia. <laughs> the, stuff that, the stuff that he's had oh. to go through in yeah. twelve to eighteen months, 
Mate. What, what's he had to go yeah, through? I felt sorry for him for the last week. He had to go to the Maldives, poor bugger. What's he had to go through the last 12, 18 <laughs> months? Maldives, how good is that? Mm. Well, he had COVID with, with the NRL. Yeah. Um, and, then he's, and then obviously... No, he didn't have COVID uh, with the Philandis. NRL. He was like, yeah, bye. Oh, it's it, for Landy's, yeah. My bad. D- just cut that second bit. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's one for the highlight. Yeah. Boy. Uh, G'day, I'm Jai Deegan. I'm from the band Kabashi here in Western Australia. I've been a night supporter since 1988, the day that Big Sam Stewart ran him out onto the park for the first time. I'm a Newcastle Knights fan because I grew up in Newcastle, New South Wales in a little town called Holmesville, just up the road from Jenny Hawkins, ex-Newcastle Knights cheerleader. My favourite player for Newcastle is none other than the Chief himself, the big man Paul Harrigan. Mate, that man was the toughest bloke ever to pull on a Newcastle Knights jersey. My favourite memory of being a Newcastle Knights fan was in 1997, the day they won the ARL Grand Final. I was at Newcastle Workers Club having a beer with a fella that uh, knows a bit about rugby league himself but was an actual soccer player by the name of Troy Halpin. Really good uh, footballer for Australia and also uh, the Newcastle Breakers at the time. We were there and were supporting the Newcastle Knights as they crossed the line when Darren Albert scored that magical try with only 10 seconds to go. Go the Knights. All right, guys, it's that time for Around the Grounds again. Yes, uh, it's brought to you by Mobile Travel Agents. If you need a travel agent, they're all mo- she is mobile She's, and she can come oh, and see you mobile. <laughs> Got you this week, Smithers. Um, obviously, uh, only because it was your second take. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. I was going to let him off on that. Stop throwing me under the bus. It's a big bus. Is that a tra- oh. mobile travel agent bus? <laughs> no, it it's could a, be. It's a Rover Coach bus. Yeah. Ching ching, a- Rover Coaches. Um, Thursday, the sixth of May. Uh, Storm fifty, Rabbitohs, zilch. Didn't see it coming. I didn't no, see it coming either. I saw, oh, I saw the storm win and fairly easily. Mm. To tell you 50. the truth, that, that first half wasn't too bad by yeah. the Rabbitohs, but geez, that second half. See, I, I and, I, and I don't think a club's come back from getting 50 points scored on them during the season and nah, come to win the Premiership. It's never happened. It's never yeah, happened. It's never so, happened. So oh, that, that oh, said, I think the Rabbitohs can still win the Premiership. Another, yeah, another sure. preliminary final they got loss. Bennett. Yeah, Bennett four years in a row. Well, you know, he can make things happen, but I picked him to. The storm, the wind by 20, but not, you know, not 50. No. Nah. I don't get anyone did. No. Oh, I, I expected the Rabbitohs to at least score a try. Mm. Um, yeah, I think yeah. it would have been like the, the Roosters. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, no, I was Excuse me. Coronavirus. I was expecting it to be like the Roosters game, you know what I mean? They only beat yeah. the Roosters 20 to 4. Mm. I was expecting it something around there. But that just goes to show you how much the Rabbitohs mm. miss Adam Reynolds, though, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, so. I don't know what's going on there. Oh. Like, seriously, what are what, they what, doing? What are they? Why, are they, mm. why is the Rabbitohs not signing Adam Reynolds? Just, why isn't career? the Newcastle Knights not mm. signing Adam Reynolds? Well, where do you put him? Oh. Oh, oh, mate, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, geez. Already, but how good yeah. would he be? He's look good in red and blue. I yeah. agree, but yeah. where do you put him? Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. um, yeah, I don't understand. Some, something's going wrong there. They've got to have someone lined up. For him not to be want him, they've got to have some marquee well, player. Well, where do you reckon he's going? Well, you reckon he's uh, going I, to Brisbane I, or the uh, Sharks? I reckon he'll stay in it, Sydney. I reckon he might, truth, he might if go. If I was Adam Reynolds, I would go. The reason I... I would sign with Brisbane. The reason why is because he's only got two or three years left and the amount of third-party de- de- deals that he'll get up there compared to where he'll get in Sydney. But they've also mm. offered he, 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 um, four years. Was it four years in the captaincy? Yeah, four years captaincy yeah, so plus the third-party de- de- deals mm. in, in Brisbane. He, he'll make a monster up there in four years. Yeah, I guess, and the I Sharks guess, are shambles at the moment. And he's, young, he's, got, yeah, he's got a young family. I think he's got three or four kids. Yeah, yeah so. I, I guess... He'd probably be looking at two uh, premiership, maybe. Who's the better option to win a premiership? Well, yeah. Sharks yeah. at the minute, mm. Broncos at the minute. 
Yeah, That's but in four, yeah, in four years' time, the Broncos, uh, look at those young guys they got coming Bennett through. Benner for not much good four years ago. Mm. Now look at them. Yeah, yeah, last, last, yeah, like last year and mm. yeah, this year. So, could well, have speak, been anyone. Speaking of the Panthers, they were the first <laughs> game on uh, Friday night. Uh, Panthers 48, um, Sharks 0. Yeah, didn't see that coming. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, 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 saw, I saw the Sharks not scoring at the no, yeah, I, thought, I thought the Sharks would have scored. I, I but knew it was going to be a blow. Yeah, yeah, I thought, you know, 44-4, something actually, like that. You, you might tip and comp, we have to choose a margin and it's always the first game on the Friday. Yeah. And I picked the margin. Uh, I, I put down 28. Oh, well, sorry. isn't it, um, I think it's, is it the first time Penrith has scored 48 points against the side this year? No, they've scored know. 50. Mm. Who was it's, that against? Um, they've had a few big score yeah, lines they, this year. Uh, yeah. I'm, don't quote me. I think, it, I think it might have been the ca- yeah, Cowboys or... Yeah. Because oh, okay. um, yeah, yeah. I know the last few... I know the last few games have only been winning by 18 points. Yeah. 16, yeah, so... Well, uh, and then... The, but like I said, the Sharks are a shambles, so... Hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. what do the Sharks what's, do now? They got. Uh, I'd, I think well, they, oh, the, this year they're gone. What's like, the rationale of letting John Morris go yeah, this year? Like, uh, I think well, there, was, there was a rumor I heard that it was they didn't want to succeed with him there. They didn't mm. want to look bad next year. Mm. I didn't yeah, hear that. Well, they don't but, think he could get them a. But well, I, the, I, oh, I heard that he. He coached them both to the semis, but yeah, they they, they got knocked. It was out. more or less they said that they. I don't think he was that bad. No, but they reckon that some top. Big name players wouldn't want to go there to be coached. Well, I tell you, yeah, why not? I, yeah, why well, not? I'll tell you what. If Josh Reynolds decides he goes to the Broncos, that's a big kick in the teeth for him. Yeah. If that if that's their philosophy, they get rid of yeah. their coach thinking they're going to attract some big players. Well, the, the first well, they've got they, Fitzgibbons, don't they? Yeah. 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 Well, the first big player they go after. Are you talking says, about Adam Reynolds or yeah. Josh Reynolds? Because you said Josh. Did I? Oh. Well, you've just got me on the Josh name now, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah, they might sign him too. <sighs> Probably. Yeah. Um, so, oh, me? You talking? No, I won't. Say anything, <laughs> I, I would like the. Well, I think uh, I would like the contract money that Aaron Reynolds is getting offered. That would be nice. Don't you get um, that at the, at the council <laughs> customer service officer? Do what, don't you? <laughs> so uh, the next game no was. No um, I didn't actually get a chance to watch this game because by the time <clears throat> this game started, I was about. 12 beers deep because it was my birthday. Um, Eels 31, Roosters 18. It actually wasn't a bad game. Yeah, the Roosters mm-hmm. were all right. They've been watching. It wasn't a bad game. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at game. The, they've had a shit ton of injuries. Yeah. And they're still. They're still playing they're top like, guns, mm-hmm. eh? It's unreal, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Just shows you the caliber of the. Yeah, well, yeah. the oldest club in the league, mate, you know what I mean, other than mm. see us. But, mm. yeah. I'll tell you what, Papa Lee for the, uh, for for the, the Eels. Eels, yeah. He's a gun. Uh, he's, he's going what a good. Also, also Did another... you, you'd never even heard of him when he was playing he's for a... the Warriors, no, eh? Like you didn't really. He, he's a pick up of the year. Yeah, I think yeah he's. Yeah. Right, but but I, I, geez, I, I was saying it to the fiance the other night. I said, "Geez, it's funny how one player, even Tom Opacek, plays for the Eels. Yeah. He was playing for the Cowboys last year and he was barely mm. making the side. Yeah. yeah, goes to a, a, a different club, mm. and gets an opportunity. And he, yeah, mate, and look at them and just say uh, they're burnt. Right. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of players yeah. that are like that. They're you know what I mean? Brett Naden with Penrith. Couldn't get another... a start. Couldn't even get a look in the first grade of Newcastle. Goes to mm. Penrith. Penrith killing, it. killing it. That's what I mean. No, yeah, another, it's, it's... another player in that side uh, for the Eels is um, Bryce Cartwright. He, yeah. He's playing he wasn't yeah, right. yeah, true. I think he wouldn't have got a start about... with the Nepean the, the, the Donkeys last year. <laughs> yeah. Donkeys. yeah. And now, look at him now. Yeah. He's, and, he's um, top gun, top guns. I don't know what happened to him up the Titans. But I think there was a thing going around that, he, he's a Sydney boy. Yeah. He's back home. Yeah. He's happy. You know what I mean? Mm. Obviously, he wasn't happy up Gold Coast, but now he's mm. back home. You know what I mean? He's in Sydney. and Here's a good one for you, Bob. Couldn't get a start at Newcastle. Played one game. Goes to Canberra. Killing it. Tom Starling. Yeah. 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 Mm. Same yeah. thing, yeah. You know what I mean? Same with uh, Joseph Tuppany. Same. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, oh, no. Tup- Tuppany's probably a bit different because yeah. yeah. they chased him hard. The Knights wanted to keep him. Keep him, mm. yeah. yeah they, ch- they threw big money at him. As yeah. a little starling. Oh, yeah. Killing yeah. it. Mm, and uh, I think I think it's the opposite for Leilua, isn't it? No. Yeah. Canberra didn't yeah. want him. He went to the Tigers. <laughs> his, right, well, yeah. yeah, he hasn't done Tigers nothing. Tigers are probably trying to get rid of him now, too. Yeah. So that said, we play him on the weekend. He's likely to come out. Uh, don't say that. Touchwood. Anyway. Anyway, the first game 
game for Saturday was Raiders uh, 16, Newcastle 24. Oh, yeah, Champions. Big boys, hey? What a yep. comeback. What an nice. effort. Uh, for a good it's the kind of win we needed, to tell you oh, the truth. 16 yeah. nil down, come yeah. back and win like that. Yeah. Mate, oh, I, I, think, I think my fiance's filmed it. She put it on Snapchat. You should have heard me after the game. Yeah. Oh, mate. I was blasting that team song out, mate. I was screaming. <laughs> can you, can you give us a demo? You can give you a demo. Oh, no, the kids are probably asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate. I might demo, it but it'd be loud. Yeah, it'd be very loud. <laughs> um, the next game was West Tigers 28, Titans 36. That game, Titans got out to a big lead early, and Tigers come back. But yeah, um, ran it back. Yeah, yeah, good, good win there for the Titans. Mm. Uh, something I think we might have to do against the Tigers. I think we're just going to have to hold them oh, out for that. Plenty, plenty it, of points in a minute. They, they played really well in that last, I think it was 15 minutes of the game, but it was mm. too late. Mm. It was just too late. Yeah. And Tommy Rodonikas, well, well, yeah. uh, OAM, OIM, so, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. They even uh, played in the, the old yeah, Western, the Western Suburbs strip. So. Yeah. Well, I know we'll go through it shortly, but a couple of changes in the Tigers mm. lineup yeah, for this weekend too. So, yeah, a bit of a shuffle. I'll but tell you what, the next one was a surprise package. I don't think it was. Yeah, I didn't think it would bend up like this. Well, uh, you you know, when when Cowboys play the Broncos, it's always a close game. Yeah, it's but, always a long uh, I didn't think it would be this. 19, 18. But I'm telling you, I think, I think the Cowboys have only dropped one game up there this year at Queensland Country Bank Stadium, I think. Mm. Yeah, I think well. they've only lost one game up there, if okay. I'm mm. correct. Yeah, yeah it's a, it's all, it's a good record. So, you know what, yeah. they'll, in the next, not next, not this week, the following week, yeah, they'll, they'll lose. Yeah. 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 That's, that's our plan right. anyway. Yeah. That's what yeah. we want. Is that your well, that, that's, old prediction? Well, I'm hoping. I'm hoping this win that we get it against the Raiders. I'm hoping this is it. This is yeah, our roll on. So it turns the corner for us, and we, we go on a roll on. We, we need Phoenix. it. So we need to keep yeah. well and, yeah. 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 chuck a man. Anyway, boys, we're Mandy. back on the Cowboys Broncos game. game. Yep. <laughs> nineteen eighteen. <laughs> yeah. Eighteen nineteen. Or nineteen eighteen. Yeah. Uh, Cowboys obviously. Play good. Um, good to see, as you mentioned Jake earlier, Clifford. Jake Clifford have a have an outstanding game there. Mm. Um, the Broncos yeah. led most of the game, didn't, didn't um, they? Ballantyne really? Holmes kicked the yeah, field goal. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, Val. Well. Yep. Big Val. I didn't think the Broncos were that bad, but... Yeah, nah, that's what I said. I think they led yeah. most of the game. They did, well, yeah. They, uh, they're, they're unlucky, too. Not yeah. to, to be honest... To get away with that, so... Ever since they played Penrith, the Broncos have started playing pretty well. Pretty good, yeah, yeah, they haven't been too bad. Um, starting to turn a bit. Kevin Walder said that they play the Broncos played for 79 minutes in his press conference. And he was shattered. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they didn't. That'll change for that him. last minute. Starting it. Mm. Uh, next game was uh, Sunday the 9th of May. Seagulls 38. Mm. Um, Warriors 32, 32 at Lotto Land. Um, we were talking crazy, prior to the show that mm. the Tommy um, Turbo show. Yeah. yeah. Literally Literally Tommy I, I can't think of a better individual performance. I can't either. Ago. Maybe Jared Hayden, a couple mm. of his games going yeah. back, but geez, it, he was good. You didn't think he'd come oh. back this oh, good so quickly it's, from yeah, that from long-term injury. Hands, but yeah. Yeah. Well, every, oh, I didn't actually watch the game. I was yeah, kind of disappointed. Kind of game. It, it would have been pretty mm. exciting, I reckon. Apparently... Yeah, the, the Seagulls, they were down. Yeah. And then they got in front and then they got to mm. a lead and then they let the Warriors come back and then, yeah. yeah Mate, the so. Warriors, Warriors blew a try. They would have put them out by about 14 points. Nick Arima threw one over the side. I missed oh, Bruce the Winger. And yeah, right. From there, Manly kicked in the gear and put on 24 unanswered points, points or something. Yeah, right. yeah, it was just a weird game. Like, then the Warriors came back at, again at the end. And, so. yeah. Well, what's Get, that? 38, 32. It's only six points. Desi, yeah, that's right. Anyone's right. game. Yeah. Desi and Tommy and uh, Jake must be doing their magic. For yeah. Oh, mate, Tommy Turbo. He's, he's just freakish. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Who do you put at fullback? Tedesco or Tedesco. Tommy? Tedesco. Oh, Tedesco, because you got, for me, you've got to get both of them in your side. Yeah, Ryan and, uh, Pappenhausen. Tommy, Tommy Turbo's got we'll go on the wing. Yeah, can, Tommy can, can play, play wing. And, and, then, you got, and then you got oh, Pappenhausen. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oof. And then you got... At 14. And then you got... Geez, New South Wales is looking pretty good for the next couple of years, aren't we? And you got Crichton. And you got Latrell Mitchell. Oh, man. Adokar. Yeah. Josh Adokar. Oh, not too bad. Josh Adokar. Yeah, he'll be on the other wing. Toto and Adokar. Yeah, geez, he's claiming a spot for it, isn't he? But six tries on the weekend. And he's done it the last but two, all, three they, years. They went mm. he's been there. tries, but... Yeah. But then yeah. you go, like, you, like you're he's saying... He's just a good finisher, mate. Total. He's... Yeah. I've got Tommy Turbo and um, Josh Morris in my centres. Your centres? Yeah. Josh Morris. Yeah, I thought he wasn't playing. I thought he retired from 
Representative. I've got him coming out of retirement this, <laughs> this, this year. And I'll tell you what, there's, there's a lot <laughs> of... Oh, I thought he was. I thought he was. I'm going to have to think you're, you're right. Yeah. But I reckon, seriously... Clint Gutherson. There's a lot... Nah, yeah, yeah, well, there's another I'm, one. I'm, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, Bradman best. Oh, yeah, mate, we're set, you set, we're oh, set for the next at least 10, 15 mm. years, mate. With mate. talent, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, there's there's yeah. one of... There's, mm. like... You know, you could pick two of probably six wingers to put in there. And the same with the centres. It's, mm. Yeah, it's going to be a hard one. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, on to the next one, boy. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Sunday the 9th of May. Um, Mother's Dragon, Day, too. Yes, yeah. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the... Uh, to all the mums, mums out there. Mums out there. And future mums. Um, Dragons 32... You trying to tell us something? <laughs> no. Um, Dragons 32, Bulldogs 12. Are you mm. pregnant? No, okay. no, no. I'm not pregnant, no. Well, I'll tell you the truth. This game It'd be a record, was... wouldn't it? Oh. The, the, the first half. It was, was all right. right but... The yeah, first was, half wasn't too it bad. It was a good game. I, I can't remember what the score was. I think was it 6 0 or. I think it was Towards six, the end, I started six or 12 nil at half time yeah. or something. So the... And then Dragons just went bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, yeah. And um, Jack, Jack Bird played. Pretty, yeah. good, pretty good, yeah. yeah. He did actually. Mm. I, I don't know. I think they might have got a kick in the bum yeah, at half time. I'm by Anthony Griffin. You got to feel sorry for he's the young Flanagan. at half time. Yeah. Did you see him uh, today? Yeah, he's a bit upset. He's yeah. up to his dad. And he was a bit teary. And, I think he. And then two hours later, they told him he's been dropped. But pretty like. Yeah. I thought it was pretty poor form. They throw him out in front of the media and say, "Go and talk to the media." And then mm. who was this? Kyle you know, Flanagan. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. tell you what, he's taking the brunt for a lot well, of it. Why'd they drop him? Why? He's... Oh, mate, he got the hook at half time in that game. Mm. And Sat him on the bench. Yeah. And mate, him. the games before that, he'd been in every every but point that the Bulldogs scored. Kyle Flanagan yeah. had his hands on like last year. Yeah. He got the blame for the Roosters. Yeah. But he was a leading point scorer Score in the competition. So. Yeah, how do you think? Poor kid. Poor yeah. kid. Anyway, boys, game, mate, um, gig. the Bulldogs... They're struggling big time. Uh, they've got plenty of work to do, and uh, that's uh, what... They need to play the Sharks again. Mm. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's uh, around the grounds. Uh, we'll take a short break and be back in a moment. All right, it's uh, Smithers Mailbag. Smithers. Uh, who's that brought to you by? Well, Smithers Mailbag is brought to you by Feral Archery. Oh, ah. yes. Anyway, I've got a couple this week. I'm... Yeah, we've got a big show, so I wound it down a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, Gareth a Whip. Late, a late show. Gareth Whittup. Jerry Johns wants the Knights to sign him. What's your thoughts? Do we need him? Would he benefit us? If so, um, what do we do with Man and Green? Gary from Rockhampton. Well, Green Green's only for this year. So, um, but... <sighs> Yeah, he's a good player. Don't well, get me wrong. He is a good, he's a good yeah, player, I'll, I'll but it. at the moment, it's. I think Man and well, you seen on the weekend, Man and Phoenix are doing the job. So you well, that's know. A, that's. Oh, I, he's I, a great player, but yeah. we've got we don't have the we, we, don't mate, we, got, we don't need hearts. We, we, we got the young fella Simi Sasagi as well, and then and then you got Tex, we got Phoenix. I, I think we're we're pretty well set. But that, I think in that the was from Joey Johns. Joey Johns wants him. Yeah, to yeah, off, so. yeah. 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 I can understand Joey. He's, mm. he's yeah. you know, if we did, mortal. If we didn't but have as much talent as we got, you know, all those we, different players. We've got a yeah, fair yeah, few halves. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If we, we didn't have, have so many halves, I, I'd yeah, it'd be, it'd be something back to think about. Well, that's right. Four or five weeks. Around fourteen or fifteen or something. This one, this one's come through today, but it's been put to bed. But I'll read it anyway. Thoughts on a player swap regarding Clemmer um, to the Broncos in exchange for Lodge? More. No, no, no. As no, Gus no. would say, no, 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 no. It's no, no. come out that well, it's, it's come out in NBN yeah. news. But Clemmer, Clemmer faced the news in the media this afternoon. Uh, Anyone would rubbish, know. Yeah. So. West policy. Why, why would the Knights want? They wouldn't because <laughs> what, what he's done, you know, off field mm. with that. West have no, po- you know, yeah. they wouldn't. They yeah. wouldn't. Nah, that's garbage. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. what did what did you all think of the game at Wagga Wagga? Wagga Wagga. Also, hoping um, Pasami Solo makes a quick recovery from yeah. Karen Bennett. She's Karen, nice. awesome game. Yeah, the second half especially was was excellent. Good win, as Kenny said, the win we needed. And um, I think everybody wishes Pasami a, a speedy yeah, recovery. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That was that was so, a disgusting. Uh, Disgusting oh. injury. Oh yes. Yeah. Right. Straight, yeah. Credit to Ryan James, as we said earlier. Yeah, yeah um, that's right. 
Oh, good question, Karen. But um, mm. I actually had to print the picture off on this one because it's a pretty good profile picture, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> Looks a bit yeah. Anyway, this one's from Peyton Go Garcia. Hello, I wanted to say how much I love your show. I have not missed one yet and don't plan on. Good work. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Um, question, do you think the team should be unchanged from last week in Wagga Wagga? Uh, twice just for you, Joshua. Wagga Wagga. <laughs> <laughs> Near the Jeez. beach. <laughs> As it's not... As the team is not broken, don't fix it. Yeah, correct. Yeah, um, just, exactly. just, on, just on Wagga Wagga, I was actually w watching the pre-game stuff for Fox Sports and they actually mentioned Wagga Wagga Beach. Mm. Wagga Beach. Wagga it's, Beach. It's on the river. So yeah. I do, I do apologise. Thank you. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, Thank you. We had a discussion last week mm. where... It's only a bit of sand at the river, but they yeah. call it the beach. Yeah. 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 I, little, I, I didn't park, believe yeah. him. I didn't oh, believe yeah. him. Park, yeah. Anyway, back to the viewer's Thank question. Um, That's where they go when it's hot. Keep it. I wouldn't change it. Yeah, I, no, I'm, happy with, the se I'm happy with the 17 we'll, that played. We'll do the team soon, but... Um, yeah, I think Peyton, you'll be reasonably happy. Yeah, Sounds it's. Good. Yeah. Oh, I can't see. Yeah. Why would you change it? You know what I mean? It's a winning uh, point. They, they, the they did well on that. The side is Josh King. Josh King. But, two four. Yeah, but you can't coach on a man crush. We're going to do the team shortly, so keep that Jesse. thought. Keep that thought to yourself. <laughs> Don't say Jesse Sue. No, I'm sitting in between you and Smith. He's been what did outstanding. You say? He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not. Oh, I, I love Josh King too. I feel <laughs> for, for Kingy, so I share yeah. that to you, Kingy. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Mate, I'm watching the South Wales Cup game today. Yeah, 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 he did play good. Yeah, that's pretty good, eh? That's a good one. Yeah, that's perfect. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Anyway, that's it. Hello. Hello, Nighttime Podcast. Hold on. Hello. Oh, hi, Chris. Okay, I'll let him know. Thank you. That was uh, Christopher Vasalo, who won our uh, Fan of the Week a couple of weeks ago, didn't he? Yes. Just yes, wanted yes. to say, how you going, Smithers? <laughs> Shout out to you, Chris. Um, yeah, we're going well, mate. Um, Shout yeah. out to you, Chris, too. And Brendan says hi. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, Smitter's Mailbag for this week. All right, guys, it's uh, time for the Teamless Tuesday, Andy. Brought to you by Josh's mates at Sayers Inc. Mm. 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 Yeah, I haven't, haven't, haven't got there yet, but... Um, hey, you shave your arms ready for it, have you? Yes, I'm ready to go. Uh, mm. So, we'll go through the Tigers first. A um, couple of changes here from their team last weekend. They get fullback, they got Dane Laurie. David uh, Nofaluma's on one wing with Tommy Talao. In the centres, Adam Dewey That's moved a change. into the centres with Josh, uh, sorry, Joey Leilua. Yeah, Harves, Moses Embai comes into six with Luke Brooks. Uh, yeah, I'm not so, saying anything about that team because if no, I say no, we did it last if I, time. If I then. say something, I, I'll. Yeah. Jinxes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm superstitious. I can't. Yeah, they're, they're going really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're going awesome. They play well. They they beat us last time. So, mm. but anyway, uh, their forward pack, James Tamu, is in the front row with Alex Twal. Mm. Uh, Jacob Little comes back into the side at hooker. Luke Garner and Luciano Leilua in the second row, and their scrum is locked by Joe Offenengawi. Oh, you've said that right. I'm impressed. I remember his uncle running around for the Wallabies many years ago. They're showing your age. Yeah. Anyway, they're in a change. Jock Madden, Sean Bloor, Alex Safarth, and Thomas McKayley. So mm. did I say that right too? Bloor? It's McKayley. Yeah, yeah Bloor. Yeah, blue. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, nah, mate, I reckon they're going to be hard to beat again. Yeah, oh, well, like they're they, going to they be in the same spot ago, as what so. we were last weekend in Canberra, you know what I mean? We need yeah, a win, mate, and we need, we need a win too. We'll be desperate yeah, every week. So. There's no, as Kenny says all the time, there's no easy game. Games, so. nah. Yeah, anyway, let's have a look at the Knights. Uh, no changes. Caelan Ponger at fullback, Stafford Toa and Braden Musgrove are on the wings. Mm -hmm. Anari Tuala, Bradman Best in the centres. Kurt Manns at 5'8 with uh, Phoenix Crosland. Good to see him get another run. He played well on the weekend. Yeah, they, they, they worked well together, actually. <laughs> yeah. Ford, oh, now they're going to get better. Forward pack. Uh, Josh's main man, David Clemmer, is in the front row with Daniel Saifidi. Jaden Braley at hooker. Tyson Captain. 
and captain, yes, let's put the little C next to his name. <laughs> Tyson Frizzell, Lockie Fitzgibbon in the back row, and Mitchell Barnett is first, locking the scrum. First game so. 2021, Lockie Fitzgibbon well, in the starting side. Well, 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 he started well, last weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not in the, wasn't jersey number 12, but... No, nah. nah, first time he's been... I think, I think, to tell you the truth, it might be the first time he's in Jersey 12. Because he's yeah. normally in Jersey 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so. Mm. Good pick up there, Kenny. Yeah. Yes. The Ken Dog. Yes. Interchange. Connor Watson. Speaks for himself. Jacob Saifidi. Jesse Sue. Did you want to say something about Jesse Sue? You're going to drop him for Josh King, are you? Oh. No. Nah. No. Nah. And... Our man Brody Jones. Mm. So Josh King. Josh King. I'm liking that bench. Mm. Yeah. That's um, that's it a good bench. bench. Well, it's a strong. I reckon it's a stronger bench than what they've got. So yeah, it's a yeah. Much, yeah well, they've got a couple. Of, oh, um, don't get me wrong. Don't they? I feel yeah, Jack. Jock, sorry, Madden. I think Jock, he's, 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 a Knights, he's a Knights junior, isn't he? Jock uh, Madden. I halfback. don't know. I wouldn't have. He was a young yeah. halfback came through the Knights system. I think, yeah, I think he did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel for Josh King. Is his parents American? Jock. So yeah. But, but um, if you put King in, they couldn't spell Jack. <laughs> if you put King in, who would you take out? You couldn't. You can't. Drop no, anybody. that's what I said. No, Not in that no. bench. That's a pretty. It's like pretty I said, it's a stronger bench than theirs, and I like it. Geez, it was good I to like see um, Mitch Barnett go back into the lock position. But yeah, he goes. Yeah, yeah, he, right when he's, uh, he didn't score as well in Supercoach, but no, number no, thirteen, no. you do more work. You know what I mean? Because you're in that middle forward. Yeah. Uh, you notice he comes off a fair bit, and I think yeah. they're swapping him with Connor. And yeah, I think Ashley right. Sawaso is coming on as front row. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, and then Brady just fills that. It fills that gap, gap. Yeah. Whatever's needed. Needed. So yeah. Play, well, wherever, actually, play wherever. So. Brady actually went on for a couple. Like a minute I think or he replaced Lachlan Fitzgibbon because Lachlan Fitzgibbon only played seventy minutes. I think yeah. so. Yeah. That's still no, but fair, fair Brady yeah. Brody went. Oh, uh, when Sawaso come off. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then went straight back, back on. Back on. Yeah. yeah. So no, strong side. It's going to be a tough game. So yeah, I reckon we can get the chocolate. Yeah, well. I reckon. Yeah, I reckon Brisbane. we can this time around. I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Six 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 p.m. to kick off Magic Round. Yeah, good is it? In yeah. Brisbane Friday. It's a good night. concept. The uh, KP and. Kurt and that brass and magic around. And, I yeah. wonder what strip they're wearing. Hopefully they wear the red and blue strip, uh, uh, not the white yeah. one. Who's it class home game? It's, it's West. That's nah, West. It's the Tigers. They'll all have the white strip. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe but I don't know. Well, last time, last time a magic round we played, it was mm. a Bulldogs home game, and we wore the red and blue strip. Yeah. Well, to tell so, the truth, yeah. uh, they've been... They, they're going straight, as Brody said earlier, they're going straight from Suncorp, staying up there, so they're probably going to... Yeah, it'd be the white strip, probably. Uh, well, they'll use the white strip when they play the Cowboys up there, so yeah. they'll probably have the home... Home strip. Home, home strip. From Magic yeah, Round, they, yeah. They might wash it. We'll find out, I suppose, eh? No, they don't yeah. have a washer. <laughs> no, I haven't got my washing machine yet. Well, so no, they're, they're, they're travelling. Like... They don't have a washing machine. they got to, you know... Yeah, they might have one on the bus. They've got one on the plane. Oh, do they? Yeah. Mm, they got sinks. <laughs> Hand washing. <laughs> anyway, boys, uh, guess what time it is? It's time for our bowl oh, predictions. predictions. Ah, uh, we might start with um, Ken Dog Smithers this week. Oh, oh. oh look out! All right, I'm gonna. My bowl prediction is uh, Brody Jones. Yeah, we'll get a double. Ooh, I like that. Kurt Mann will get across as well. I like that bowl prediction. It's Another good. Try for me. Um, our Kurt the man. I, yes, Kurt the man. Our uh, next bold prediction is uh, going to be from our producer, Brendan. You got a bold prediction for this week's game, Brendan? Yeah, I'll probably... Um, Brody's going to try. You can't use he, He's going to try or he's going to... He's going he's to he's go for a try. He'll get the try. Oh, okay. So that's no, score a try. Yeah. He, like what he said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kenny. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, my bold prediction, hopefully, I'm not too sure, but um, if the Dragons play like they did against uh, Parramatta, uh, they can they can beat Melbourne. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah, oh, I like that bold prediction. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty pretty bold. So, Big Andy. Um, I'm going to say each of our back five, so Kalen Ponga, Stafford Tower, Anari Tuala, and Bradman Best. And Jada Musgrove are all going to score a try. You mean Braden Musgrove? So we're going to... Oh, I don't know. Wow. So it's, so it's we're going to towel the Tigers. <laughs> so you're saying we're going to towel them up. So are we playing the Tigers or the... Yeah. No, nah, every one of our back five are going to score a try. Yeah, right. Wow. 
That that's bold, and I hope it happens. And we'll win. Same, man, that'd be good. But yeah, you're going to so they're all scoring a try. Oh yeah. yeah. And yeah. Carl Ponga to convert all five. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah he, got four, he got four for four on the weekend. So. Well, my bold prediction is that. Um, I'm going to eat some KFC while watching this game. And that's not that bold, mate. That's, <laughs> no, that's, a, that's a it's not a bold that's, prediction, um, mate. That's, that's no, my bold prediction forward. is um, Dave Clemmer to score a try. Oh. Um, and also Magic Round to be an absolute success. And uh, the play of the round will be Lockie Fitzgibbon. Oh, yeah. I just hope there's close, I'd like to oh, close games. Player of the round, Lockie Fitzgibbon. I'd like to see two people get over for a try, but Clem, obviously, because he yeah. hasn't scored. Scored for a while, yeah. And um, so I say, Sue, he deserves one. Like, all yeah. jokes aside, the, the work he does, he deserves one. Oh, okay. Well, well there, there's another bold prediction for me then. Suasso Su to score under the sticks. Oh! From a nice short pass, and he's running straight and hard. From Clemmer? Yeah. Or short pass of, from yeah, Clemmer? Or Jaden Braley. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, I'm like going to have another bold prediction. I can see that happening. I'm going to yeah. have another bold yeah. prediction. It's and more prediction, not yeah. predictions. <laughs> prediction, sorry. Um, my bold prediction is that all our man crushes for the Knights will score a try. Yeah, but so, so hang on, Josh. We've got Jaden Braley down so the end. So 13 players going to get a try. You've got, <laughs> got 13 different man crushes. No, we've got Jaden Braley down the end. We've got Suaso Su here. And Kurt. Brady Jones. Brady. Brady Jones. If you say so. Brady Jones. <laughs> and mine's Clemmer. Last, week, last week you told me the man crush was um, Tyson Frizzell. Oh, I changed it every week. Yeah, oh, fair enough. You can't do fair that, enough. mate. Anyway. Well, that's, Brazil might score too. Let's um, love get into the footy this weekend. And um, don't forget, um, if anyone out there can uh, lend a hang with the... Uh, Young Troy. Young yeah, Troy. Troy. Yeah, yeah. That'd be um, great. Not just donations um, of monetary just, to their just things. Any, anything. anything to yeah. auction. Anything. Or, or if you're a builder or yeah. something like that that can help with their house. Um, mm -hmm. Let's get on board and help them out. Yeah. Um, also, if there's any single ladies out there, Josh is uh, on yeah. the market. <laughs> yeah. on the market. You told me you weren't going to say that. On the market and looking. So um, yeah. yeah, hit me up. You got you got to put that on the green two, screen. Two one, like six two seven one. one. Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, we check me on Facebook. Yeah, there is no returns either. But once you take him, he's yours. Yeah. <laughs> so um, anyway, get out there, enjoy the footy, and um, catch us next week. Let's hope it's Go magic. Go Knights. Go Knights. Up the Knights. Once a night, always a night. Good.